All right, so here we are starting a new computer animation tutorial on how to animate a dancing skeleton. And the main tool or feature of Adobe Animate we're going to be using is called the Bone Tool. And ironically, we are also animating a skeleton dancing here. So um, you could see it a second ago is the bone structure here that kind of connects each one of these graphics together. And um, that's what we're going to be working on here. Each one of these parts we're going to take from a skeleton graphic. And that graphic is going to be on our class's eBackpack page. Or um, you can also find any kind of skeleton graphic doing a simple Google Images search. Um, I'll start with this image here. I'll make sure to add it to our class's page. I'm just going to copy this image and then go back to animate and I will go file new and start a new action script 3 file. Then on this page here I'll just go ahead and paste this in the center. It's going to be a little large and so I'll scale it down using my free transform tool and holding the shift key and pulling on the corners there. Alright, so I'll make this guy just a little bit smaller here so he fits in my page pretty nicely. I'm going to go back to my selection arrow here and what we're actually going to do is in order to turn this image into something we can edit and turn into parts um, that we can animate we need to do what's called tracing the bitmap and so here we go from the modify menu to bitmap and then we're going to go to trace bitmap and these are some levels that can be um, played with and depending on the complexity of the image might want different numbers here but for this particular example let's go with the color threshold of 40 and a minimum area of 10 pixels um, so for now that should work and as you can see now it turned our um, graphic into something we can grab and edit so I'm just clicking on the white area around this image for right now and then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit delete and you're gonna notice that that gets rid of now all of the white colored area that's around surrounding the skeleton. So that kind of allows us to really start to um, select different parts and animate them. What we're going to use mainly is our lasso tool. So I started with zooming in there a little bit and I'm going to take this lasso tool and basically now go around and select cut off at the head and then the rest of the selection can go wide and I'm going to hit F8 and call this the head and this is going to be a movie clip. In order to use the bone tool, uh, we need all of our parts to be movie clips. So I'll say okay, and now we have the head as a movie clip. I'm gonna go ahead now and take my lasso and kind of select just this neck. All right, I'm gonna push V on my keyboard or go to my selection arrow, as you can see this quick key to get there is V on your keyboard. I'm going to hold shift and unselect this head so that it's not selected. I just want the neck. And now I'm going to hit F8 again. Movie clip. We're going to call this neck. And so on and so forth. And so we're going to continue it this way all the way through. So now I'm going to go around kind of this collarbone here, uh, around these shoulder bones, and I'm going to go all the way around this torso right down into kind of the pelvis bone there and through and around that arm there and so now I have kind of this whole pelvis here um, I believe if I get too much of a section I can hold the shift key and add to it nope that's gonna add to it so what I'm gonna do is I'll just keep this for now I can edit this graphic later on if that becomes an issue that little miss selection part. So I'm going to hold the shift key and click on the next so it's not selected. Now that I have the torso, hit F8 and we're going to call this torso. Move clip and keep on trucking on. So I'm going to go around this kind of upper arm graphic part here. Go around the bottom of the bone there. So in the part where it really matters um, what part you're actually... Oops. So I need to go press V to get to my selection arrow tool quickly and then hold shift and click. Um, but the only part where it really matters with your lasso tool is how you're selecting around the joints. Hit F8 again, F8, and I'm going to call this uh, left up arm. So that's kind of the left upper arm. 
um, click off the side here, take my lasso, go around these bones right there. All right, uh, again, V to get quickly, oops, V to get quickly to your selection tool and then holding shift and clicking there to get rid of that particular area. Now I'm gonna call this left uh, low arm for my left lower arm and then lastly gonna go over to this hand here. Back to my lasso tool, go along the edge there, around the hand, and then voila, go back to my selection arrow, unselect that, F8, we're gonna call this left hand. Movie clip, all right, making progress here. So now we're gonna go over to the other side, the right hand side, we're gonna go around this top part of the arm, across that, and we are gonna press V, Get to our section arrow, hold shift, click, F8. We are going to call this um, right up arm move clip. And by now, hopefully, you're kind of getting into a little bit of a flow here. All right, V, hold shift, click, and we're going to go to F8. And then we're going to call this right low arm. Back to the lasso, around the hand and fingers. Uh, v, hold shift, click, and F8. This is gonna be right hand. Okay, now down to the legs, we're gonna use our lasso tool again. Go right around this kind of pelvis bone here and then around those leg sockets. All right, again, V, hold shift and click on that kind of backbone there to get rid of that selection. And now I'm gonna go ahead to F8 and we'll call this hips. And uh, make sure it's a move clip. Lasso again, just a few more here. Pull that knee separated. Again, the selection tool, hold shift, get rid of that old one. And F8, we're gonna call this left up leg. Move a clip. And the reason why you keep getting the other graphic, see how this, this selection that I'm making here overlaps it a little bit? You're gonna always kind of get a piece of the other graphic. It's just kind of the nature of what's happening here. So. That's why we go to our selection tool, hold shift, click, press F8, and we go to call this. This will be right low leg. <clears throat> Foot here, and then we just have to do the other side. Again, hold shift, click, F8. This is right, or oh, this is left foot. I think I messed up the name of that last one. So if I want, I can go right here and I can change the instance name here uh, to left, left low leg. Okay, and that's in your properties panel over here. And this one I did left up leg, so that one's correct. All right, going onwards. And this is kind of the same process you would really go through with animating any kind of character where you're animating their whole body and it's you're all move, moving all the animated all the moving parts all their um, appendages if you will um, so this one is now going to be right up leg this is the upper leg on the right hand side our right hand side is all that really matters uh, it doesn't quite matter if it's from the perspective of the skeleton as long as we can keep track of what side we're looking at. That's all that matters. All right, F8 here. This is going to be right low leg. And on to the last one, and then we get into the fun part. Okay, V here, hold shift, click. Now we're gonna do right foot, move a clip. Now, if I zoom out, I should have basically all of these parts are all their own movie clips. 
Okay, so now what we can get into, and if I go to my library, you should see them all here. So again, um, you know, can be reused at any point in time. You know, once you have a character design down and you've saved all their parts in here, you can go ahead and pull those out and use those throughout, you know, a project, and that becomes very handy. So we did a lot of the legwork now. Now, like I said, now is the fun part. Um, so we're going to take this tool, the bone tool over here, it looks just like a bone, um, and we're going to do, I'll zoom in just a little bit here so we can get a better look at what we're doing. I'm going to take the bone tool, I'm going to click on the head of this graphic, and then I'm going to pull down, holding my mouse down, and I'm going to connect to about the middle of the neck there. Okay, now I'm going to take this um, bone tool again, stay selected on it, click and hold and drag again, and I'm going to kind of let go right here at about the kind of middle of the collarbone there. Okay, and now all these are going to be connected. So now where I'm going is I'm going to click from this point and drag right to just over the edge to that pelvis bone. So you'll see that it should appear with that blue outline. That means that they are now connected. Okay, and I can also veer off from this point here and I can go just over the edge there and connect to the shoulder of um, this arm over here and then again right over the edge uh, to this graphic right here in that elbow and one last time for this arm right to the edge of the hand all right and again on the other side same kind of thing click and, dr and drag while holding down the mouse to connect and you'll see those blue outlines will pop up on a graphic let you know that they're boned they're bone connected and um, now from down here, from the pelvis, I'm going to go right over to the, I know that leg graphic starts. And then again, clicking, dragging just over to where this lower leg starts. And one last time to the foot here. And then same thing on the other side. Click and hold. And then let go once you're over the edge to the next graphic. And there we go. So my armature is complete. He is all connected up. And you'll notice that um, you've automatically got a new layer up here called Armature Selected. And actually what that's done is it took all your graphics and moved it onto this layer. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and go down to, let's say, the 70th frame. I'm going to hit F5 on my keyboard just to open up some frames. And you'll notice that this layer has turned an interesting shade of green. Um, what we're also going to do at this point is just take layer 1 and we're actually just going to trash it. There's nothing left on layer one useful. Actually, all that's probably on layer one are maybe little pieces of the skeleton in between here that you missed um, when you were making your different graphics. So um, all of your information, all your skeleton is on this armature layer now. And now this works very much so like a motion tween. So I'm just gonna click underneath the fifth frame here, take my selection arrow, and I'm just gonna take a part like this hand and I'm just gonna move it up to kind of start like a wave and he is all the other parts as you can see are moving with it when you click at a point like a hand um, you will get everything to move in here so we can make him do the wave if we wanted to right um, but you will notice you may have some little things like see where his shoulder kind of separated there okay that you might have happen a little bit and so what you can do is move a graphic and then move just the particular point that you would like to change as well. So I can get a little more control by taking other points and not just the end hand point as well. So um, now when I kind of scrub through this you'll see that his arms are starting to move. And so I'll go again to the 10th frame and I'd like you to just kind of continue uh, every five frames or so changing your skeleton's position. So maybe I'll do have him do a little wave. So his hand goes up. And maybe actually this one, uh, instead I'll have it go back out. And again, uh, I just want you to have fun with this. So you can really make your skeleton do anything at this point. Um, you know, we're gonna just make his hands go up. If I zoom out just a little bit, um, 
you know, we can get into making the legs move again, same kind of thing. We'll just keep going every five frames or so, making a new pose. And so, again, if this is selected as yellow, it doesn't matter too much as long as you're on the frame that you want to be on. Um, it will, all you have to do is change the, the position of your skeleton. You'll see a, a new keyframe or a new pose is what it's called is actually created. So now make maybe his arms kind of move like this and then I'll go to about the 25th. Um, and again, these don't have to be precise, but every five frames or so, let's try and change our graphics position. All right, so now you can see kind of the process going on here. Um, and as I said, just every five frames, change position, and have some fun creating your dancing skeleton here. I think I had my other skeleton doing a little heel click over here. We'll bring his heels up together. And... Uh, yeah, you can actually move the whole position of the entire skeleton if you would like to. So let's say from here to here, I actually want him to appear like he's jumping a little bit. I can also just take your transform tool and now if I click and drag, it's gonna move everything on the skeleton. Like I couldn't move him too far. Actually, I can move him a little bit further. I thought my stage edge was closer there. But so now it might appear more like he's kind of like jumping up there for a second and then maybe on this 35th frame. Again, I kind of just take him. Um, I think I have to, there we go. Um, you know, once I have everything highlighted, and oops, um, you have to have your free transform tool in order to take everything. I can move them kind of back down and that will kind of create that effect that maybe he's jumping up and down and then I have to go back to my selection tool in order to actually take and move his legs back underneath him as if he has landed. And so there is, you know, some more levels to this that we will get into later talking about in class. Um, you can restrict some of these joints to only move so far. And maybe I'll have him finish with a good old hand on the hip type pose. That was always a good way to kind of close out a dance, right? So um, anyways, let's play this, give this a test really quick. So got my guy kind of dancing around, a little freeze at the end. And, um, you know, hope you have lots of luck with this and have some fun learning what the capabilities of the bone tool are.